Hello. Today we're going to talk about the Elastic Potential Store. Now, the Elastic Potential Energy Store um, is obviously the store of energy due to the change in shape of an object, which is intimately connected to the topic we're talking about. Now, whenever uh, a force compresses or stretches an object, work is done. And that transfers energy to the, its elastic potential store. As long as, as long as the force applied is below the limit of proportionality for a particular material or, or object, then this equation here is true. And that equation states that the, that the elastic potential energy is equal to half multiplied by the spring constant multiplied by the extension squared. So the elastic potential energy store has a unit joules. Then the half is is basically it's the same thing as 0 0.5. You could use either one in your calculator and you'll find the same answer. Um, K was the spring constant we mentioned before. And that has a units in newtons per meter. And then the extension we talked about before as well. And this one will still have units that are in meters. Drawn that rather poorly, let's try that again. Still have uh, units in meters. The thing to remember is that whatever your number for the extension, you have to square it, because it's as it says there. So if you had an extension of, I don't know, let's say you had an extension of 0 0.01 meters, a one centimeter extension then you have to remember to square that number. That does not mean that you just put a square in the unit. That's incorrect, okay? What it means is that you take the 0 0.01, you multiply it by itself, and then you should find that you have an answer, wow, this is gonna be a really small answer, 0 0.0001 meters. But actually, there isn't truly a unit for that until you finish the calculation. So you need to make sure you're squaring the number, not just putting a square symbol. This is incorrect, okay? Um, so that's the equation for the elastic potential energy store. Uh, the elastic potential energy equals half times the spring constant times the extension squared. You'll notice it's quite similar in form to the kinetic energy equation, which you will have seen previously. There's another way of finding the, uh, the amount of energy that's been transferred to the elastic potential energy store, and that's graphically. So if you have a graph of extension against force, then the area under the linear part of that graph, in other words, the up, up to the limit of proportionality, that area is equal to the size of the elastic potential energy store. On a little side note, we keep saying that this, this equation only uh, is true up to the limit, limit of proportionality. And that's partly because beyond the limit of proportionality, you have plastic deformation. And where you have plastic deformation, energy is transferred to other stores, such as the thermal store of the object um, and maybe the thermal store of the surroundings. Uh, so therefore, this equation does not stand true beyond the limit of proportionality. Well, I hope this has helped. Bye.